OK, we're going to look at adding atmosphere to your images by means of fog or haze. So if we take this rather boring photograph here, the composition is OK, but the lighting and general atmosphere of the shot is very dull. So let's go ahead and add a new pixel layer. Then we'll select the gradient tool. And starting from the top of the image, we want to click, drag, down, holding the shift key to constrain the angle, like so, and create the default gradient. Then for the next step, there are actually several blend modes we can try, but for the most effective, we'll go for hard light. OK, so that's our typical fog starting strong, higher up in the image, and then tapering off more towards the ground. What we'll do, however, is with this pixel layer selected, go into blend ranges here. Then we want to reduce the layer's strength on the shadow tones, like so. And further to that, we want to mask out some areas as well to help them cut through. So with this pixel layer selected, we'll add a layer mask. Go in, select the mask. Then using the paintbrush tool, and increasing the brush size. We'll go on over to the Brushes panel here, and under the Texture category, there's a brush called Grunge 6. And then the next thing we need to do on the Color panel is swap the color to black. OK, and then hovering over the image, we'll see the effect we'd be having. Now, we're not particularly after this brush for its texture. We're after it for the randomness and to get away from the perfectly round brush that we would be applying otherwise. So to negate this texture, I'll actually switch the opacity right down to about 10% and then just begin painting over. Now, it'll be a very subtle effect at first. So we want to build it up over multiple passes, like so. OK, so I'm happy with that. Rather than tinker further, I'll leave it as it is. So if we go ahead and turn the mask layer off, you can see we've just helped that tree trunk cut through a bit more. And again, if we want to compare to the original image, let's turn this entire pixel layer off. All right, so let's tackle the tone of this image. Perhaps we want something a bit grungier, a bit darker, a bit more mysterious. We'll go in, add a recolor adjustment. And thankfully, we won't leave it like this. We'll change the hue slightly for more of an orange tone. Take the saturation down. Then we'll go in, set the blend mode to multiply. OK, then the final touch. We'll go in, add a curves adjustment. And this is really just to kind of get us to a more final, punchier tone. OK, evaluating it, we might perhaps go in and tinker with the recolor adjustment, just to try and take the edge off that orange hue that we've added, like so. OK, so if we compare with the original image we started out with, I think we have managed to turn a rather dull shot into something a bit moodier. So let's try a similar technique with another example. Now, this shot is actually more interesting to begin with, but we'll go in, add a pixel there like before, select the gradient tool, click drag down for our gradient, set the blend mode to hard light, and once again, go into the blend ranges dialog and just lower the blending on the shadow tones here. And unlike the previous image, we could say we're actually quite happy with the colors as they are. So all that remains to do is go in, add a curves adjustment, just to bring back some of those punchier, darker tones there. And there we go. We've just added a bit of atmospheric haze to the image. So once again, if we uncheck these layers, we can see the original image we started with. 
and then by checking them again we can see the result we've come to. So hopefully that's given you some ideas for using gradients and blend modes. If you have any questions please do ask on the official Affinity forums. Thank you for watching.